Hey, hey, happy day in Alberta, Canada. Recently, the Premier and a whole bunch of his guys got together and they said the blockades that are going on in Canada, it's causing a problem to people, to law-abiding people, and there shouldn't be people out there doing bad things. So we're going to create a new bill. The bill number one, it's called, and that's going to send a message to people that if you break the law, we're going to deal harshly with you and we might even put you in prison. We're going to give you a fine for certain, right? <laughs> this announced, this comes from the Premier of a province that's been around about a hundred years, okay? Are you with me? Here it comes. This announces that we're getting tough on illegal blockades. Are you kidding me? You really have to talk like that? I thought we already had laws. It takes somebody to break a law before the government who takes everybody's money from taxes and everything else to kind of stand up and say, hello, we have laws already. Why don't you enforce the ones you've already got? I thought the police had a job to do. They didn't do their job. Fire the police. Pretty simple stuff. And now you got people saying we're going to create new laws because somebody blocked a train? Oh boy. I mean, how bad is all that? I mean, I know how to fix this. It's real simple. You tell all the Indians that their money, all the welfare money from the white people, all the cash that goes to them every each and every month, is now going to, well, from now on, going to be delivered by train. And then you'll never have another problem. Hey. You know, so many politicians, guys in particular on the uh, on the right, so-called right in Canada, I'm still talking about the Conservative Party, they say the CBC, the Communist Broadcasting Corporation in Canada, we're going to defund it. It loses a couple of billion dollars a year and Canadians don't like it, so we're going to defund it and watch it die a natural death. Might take 10 or 15 years, but that's what we're going to do. And oh, by the way, we're going to leave Several of them are saying this. We're going to leave the radio part open. And in, in particular, we're going to leave the French part open. <laughs> so let's drill down on all of this. Firstly, I think of myself if I owned a building, a high-rise building, and it's in really bad shape and I want to get rid of it. You know what I'd do? I'd spend money on it. I wouldn't defund it. So what you go and do with CBC is you spend a bunch of money, you get it ready for sale, you break it up, including the radio, and you get rid of it. Within six months, it's fixed up and it's sold off. And there's money in the bank and free enterprise. It works. Leave this other stuff alone. Good grief. Defund? What? Until the next government comes in and they decide to fund? What kind of game is that? This ain't Monopoly. This is the real world. And this coronavirus. It's interesting. In France, just the other day, they said, you know what? Things are bad. <laughs> this corona thing. So now uh, we're going to uh, keep public gatherings confined to 5,000 people. Okay, they had a marathon that was soon to uh, play out, I guess, run out maybe, and there was going to be 40,000 people there, and they're saying we're going to only have 5,000 people maximum. It's kind of like some goofball that came up with we're going to have 10 rounds in a magazine in a gun and not 15. So you can only murder 10 people instead of 15. I mean, come on. I mean, 5,000, 40,000, what does it matter? Where does that number come from? 5,000 doesn't seem to make sense to me. I mean, if the virus is out there and is walking around, doesn't it walk around with 5,000 people? Ah, it's a good thing I've only got a grade 8 because I don't understand all this kind of stuff. In a time of widespread disagreement and ever-increasing polarization, there remains one thing that Canadians seem to have in common. They don't like the government. They don't trust the government. A full 70% of all Canadians found that uh, the government has no clue what they're doing. No clue. That would be kind of true. They have no clue. And to kind of add to that, we'll swing over here now to the uh, Conservative Party, the opposition. Scheer, who's still the leader, he's now allowing, you like that word? I allow you <laughs> to introduce a bill. Allow? I mean, are you kidding me? A whole bunch of dictators. There's only one country in the world that is uh, more dictatorial than Canada. That's North Korea. And that's by, I think, a quarter of a percent or something. Because the MPs there, too, the equivalent of are not allowed to talk, okay? The Canada, they're not allowed to talk, but this guy says, I allow you to do this bill. In Saskatchewan, there's a girl, her name is, she's an MP, Kathy, someone. She put forward a private member's bill that will ban same, or pardon me, sex-selective abortions, okay? She said, the bill reflects Canada's commitment to gender equality. Okay, so... <laughs> And then she goes on to say that over 85% of all Canadians are in favor of this. They want to watch who they kill, right? I mean, I don't want to knock this one down because this is a girl and this one's a boy. So we now need to... I can't, I can't even make this stuff up. You're allowed to introduce this bill uh, for gender equality so you can decide who you kill. Hmm. It's too deep for me. Y'all come back here tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.